So what did you think of the movie? It was the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. So what did you think of the movie? It stinks! <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Fly By Night Reviews. I'm your host, Karen. I'm Dom. Today, me and Dom are doing a review of Madam Web. It is currently out in the theaters. What did you think, Dom? Oh, God. I'd put this movie up there with the likes of uh, maybe Batman and Robin, Catwoman, <laughs> somewhere along the way. Yeah, that's that's fair. I haven't seen <laughs> Catwoman yet. Um, I've seen bits and pieces, and that's all I need to see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, what, I mean, I was expecting it to be bad. But I don't. I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. Like it was. That I, I'm not gonna say what it happens, but that ending is just the I, more I replay that in my head. It's like that was like failed late '90s CW TV show kind of like production right there. Yeah, very <laughs> rushed. Um, I mean, it was like it was amazing because I was like bored throughout the movie, and I like literally wanted to walk out of the theater. And, but, you know... But there's also times where it's like, is something so drastically dumb happens that you just can't help but laugh. Yeah, I mean, there was <laughs> there was moments where it's just the dialogue was so wooden. Um, Dakota Johnson, I haven't really seen many movies with her in it, but her, like, acting range is like a carrot or something. I mean, it's like... <laughs> From so what wooden. I heard, though, I'll give this to the people who signed up for the movie. Apparently, the original script was completely different. Oh, really? Yeah, so, but still, that's... I don't know if that's bad acting or bad direction. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just like, there's so many other movies that could have... I mean, other characters that could have made a movie about. I mean, even like Spider-Woman or something. Any of the Spider-Woman, just do have them be the main character. Yeah, yeah and why Madam Web? I mean, I'm not really too familiar with Madam Web anyway. Like, I kind of had to, like, find out, like, okay, what's her story now? And She wasn't even a B-list. I think she was, like, C or D-list character that popped up every once in a while. Yeah, like, so. um, and then... Yeah, and some of the camera work was really wonky. Like even like from the from the moment the movie starts, it's like these weird zoom ins and like yeah. kind of like everything looks look overly digital. I mean, I know it had an eighty million dollar budget, but it just looked really bad. Like um, at some, some it looked points, like yeah. somebody who didn't know what they were doing, trying to be artistic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then the villain was just like terrible. I mean, he like there was a there's a a 30 year jump and like he looks the same like he hasn't aged at all yeah. and i'm like there's like a couple of white strands in his hair now yeah and it's like what <laughs> <laughs> and i don't know his like motivation did he did he like get let the spider bite him does he have i'm powers? assuming that's what they're gonna they're letting you assume that's what happened or something yeah yeah there was just things that weren't explained and then it's just like the villain's motivations was really lame and like every time he talked in that movie and fi come to find out they overdubbed his his lines but it's just like it looked so weird and it just sounded so weird it's like it didn't fit the person that was talking it, yeah just yeah i mean i'm you know couple that with really bad dialogue i mean yeah. I, i'm not surprised it sounds like really bad but um adam scott was in this too who, who plays ben parker and i've seen him in stuff where he's great oh yeah yeah well i mean to be honest, he was decent in this. Yeah. His acting was okay. Um, I think it was just the fact that they actually, actually had Ben Parker and like the whole they had Peter to Parker connect, Yeah, they had to connect it to Spider-Man somehow. Yeah, which was kind of like, you know, I'm sure they had something planned before all the mm -hmm. reshoots or changes. And then, then like this movie yeah, was the, trash. So let's, just, yeah. um, <laughs> so let's just put it out. But yeah, overall, um, I do not recommend you go go see this movie. This is absolutely terrible. Maybe streaming. Wait till it's on. I would yeah free if, streaming. If you if you're sitting at home and it comes up on TNT sometime, <laughs> then it's like then watch that movie the same way you would watch Batman and Robin. <laughs> yeah, and, and what what upsets me is Sony's willing to put this movie out yet WB canceled the Batgirl movie. Right, this which... definitely should have had that Batgirl treatment. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but anyway, what did you guys think? Have you seen the movie? Let us know in the comments. Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Have you seen Madam Web? Let us know in the comments. Are there any other movies that you've seen recently that are just terrible? <laughs> like, yeah. What's, your, what's the worst movie you've seen lately? Yeah, we're very curious. Let us know in the comments, and uh, we will catch you next time. Peace.